Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you probably already saw by the title, we are building a realistic apartment. And uh, the fact that realistic is not the way that I furnished it, it's the way um, how small it is. This is the smallest apartment in The Sims 4. It is um, obviously in San Machino and it is the one... Okay, I think it was the spice area. Or the art, art or spice, and it's the one that needs DLC. So you will recognize it immediately. There are pipes on the wall. On the wall, there are like um, rats and ma and mice in this home. So um, that's always a little bit nasty, but we are trying our best. So at the moment, I'm looking at the current market uh, for houses, like to buy one myself, and the prices are ridiculous. Like honestly, ridiculous. So I figured that something this big is probably um, more in my range at this moment. <laughs> and uh, it was, I was like, you know what, if I need to buy a small apartment, might as well furnish one in The Sims 4 and see how the layout would be and everything. Not that it's very realistic, of course, because obviously the apartments and the homes in my country have a very different layout than this. But still, one can dream. So here we are and we are furnishing this apartment. Now, normally I would say we are building an apartment. Uh, we're not because it's so small, really the only wall that you need to be placing is the bathroom wall. And then to make it a little bit more exciting, I also put a wall uh, in the kitchen to have like a closed kitchen. So when you enter this apartment, the first thing you're standing in is the kitchen. Then you will see a dining table. After that will be a bed and then the living room around the corner. And then through the door, the bathroom and that's it. It is like studio apartment, it's not very big. I imagine that would be like, um, I don't know, someone who just bought their first home or first apartment or like a student, something like that. It reminds me a bit of like student's apartments. But anyways, we are decorating the kitchen and we are obviously using uh, debug items in a few seconds. But before we do any of that, we are using our normal objects and we are decorating the wall with some lights and then we're gonna hang up our standard cutlery, so the knives and the spoons and the pans. So, and obviously that's weird little salad fork and spoon thing. And they thought to be like fancy and extra, let's add some vinegar in there, you know. That's fancy, it sounded fancy, so that needs to be there. And really there isn't much that I can say about this apartment, I mean in the end, I think it looks really nice, especially that we now have the hanging plants from Nifty Knitting and I'm really excited for that, so I can't talk anymore about this apartment, so just watch the video and hear me rant about the upcoming expansion or game pack for The Sims 4. So I'm sure that by this point you've all heard it. The next um, game pack will be Star Wars. I'm not very excited. Uh, I think as most of the Sims community. It has nothing to do um, with The Sims, I just really dislike Star Wars, you know, we had that survey last year and I think like the top things were hotels, um, babies, not being objects, like things like that. Star Wars like at the bottom. And yet we still got that first. And I get that EA uh, has a lot of other Star Wars games as well, they're probably, I think they're working with Disney as well, so I get it. But I would rather have like a generic space pack and then have like some Star Wars objects merged in that because I hate Star Wars. I'm sorry, like I've watched all the films, I've watched the movies, I've I've seen the Lego version on Disney Plus. Um, I don't like it. I really like space stuff and I really like science fiction, but Star Wars is not my cup of tea. I'm Star Trek all the way, you know, live long and prosper. Woo! And Star Wars, man, it's not for me. But I am really excited about the built and buy objects because as I saw from like the trailer, the objects that we are going to get are really amazing. And I think I could build some amazing like science fiction homes with that. So I am pretty excited for that. So, and obviously I have like um, collector's rage. So, you know, I need to have this pack to have my collection complete. So I will buy it anyway, or maybe um, EA is so sweet to give it to me. Please, EA, please. Anyways, like this pack is coming out next week. Um, I will do like an overview as well, so stay tuned for that. 
but I'm not quite sure what to think of it. And I'm really not excited for the storytelling. I generally don't like, oops, sorry. Sorry for that noise, I dropped something. I generally don't like uh, storytelling in The Sims as well, just because I don't like the gameplay. And then going to Star Wars or J Batu, I think it was. Journey to Batu, yeah, Batu. Um, I'm not that excited. Anyways, like we're keeping a clear mind and we are gonna see what it is. We're gonna see if we like it. We're going to do an overview. We're gonna... I don't think I'm gonna play with it because I'm just generally not interested. <laughs> but I am gonna do like a build and buy catalog overview and we are gonna build some stuff and we're gonna see how our creativity um, feels with the Star Wars pack. And I just really hope that the Sims 4 uh, team is coming out with something that is generally interesting for more of the player base because I get a lot of the people that play the Sims um, are teenagers and Star Wars is like pretty popular among teens, I know that. But uh, anyways, um, enough of the rants about Star Wars, we're going back to the build now. So you just saw me build this amazing uh, future wall, also with the bike on the wall, I thought it was pretty uh, realistic for small apartments. Because you don't have like a shed or anything, so where are you going to leave your bike? Obviously on the wall. I mean, obvious. if we had a balcony, I would put it there. But we don't have a balcony in this apartment. Which is kind of weird, to be honest. Why don't we have a balcony? Like, balconies are pretty common. Oh well. So, obviously, you're gonna leave your bike on the wall. And then when you need to go biking, you just grab your bike and go downstairs. And we also built this amazing feature wall with a lot of books. And we stacked books on top of each other and with plants on top of it. Just to make it feel more alive. Because otherwise, it can look pretty damn boring. I'm gonna be honest, if you have like books that are all neatly next to each other, I'm not that type of person to have stuff um, neatly. I am a pretty organized person, but I'm organized in chaos. So there is that. <laughs> and I thought, you know what, for the sim that's living here, you don't have a lot of space, so you're not gonna store everything out nice and neatly and orderly, so you're gonna stack some things on top of each other. And I think that actually I did that pretty good. I also got into the vibe where I'm doing that, so a lot of the builds that I'm well, gonna show you guys, you will see that, so... I'm not sorry. I'm really not. Also, I felt like a guitar really was necessary in this apartment, uh, same with the easel. Like, this person that lives here is pretty creative, hence the bike on the wall and stuff, you know. I felt like it was necessary. I actually, I really enjoy furnishing like small apartments. Because you have to get way more creative with the space that you have. In like big apartments you can have like a completely separate uh, room for the TV. Or a completely separate room for your office or your bedroom. And when you are building a studio apartment, um, you need to be more creative with the space that you have. And I actually really like that. I was also wondering because if you have the uh, normal layout or the original layout from the EA, the bathroom was uh, where the little weird window was and I really didn't like that. I didn't want my bathroom to be there because that's standard and I wanted it to be different. So we have like this giant window in the bathroom but we've managed to fix it like not putting the toilet or the shower there because that would have been really awkward. We put a, a washer and dryer there so people can see you doing laundry but they can't see you on the toilet and I actually think that's rather important because it would be really uncomfortable if you were like pulling on a toilet and then like your neighbor from across the street would just look in and just wave at you. I mean, can you imagine how like awkward that would be? I also wanted to do something interesting with shelving again and I was like, you know what? What if we add a shelf on top of this, uh, like on top of the appliances? It will make it look more, I don't know, fancy, not really fancy, but more like an actual shelf, because I don't think you're gonna put your plastic um, like laundry basket on top of the washer that's gonna get hot and then it's gonna melt, so you, won't, you wouldn't do that. And since the Sims don't put the laundry on top of the washer and, and dryer, it's fine. In the end, I really like the way this bathroom turned out. I'm not sure if I agree looking back at it with the choice of uh, paintings that I did, but you know what? Who really cares? Like this this person that lived there probably had one fancy painting and wanted to hang it in the bathroom so they could look at it while being on the toilet. That's the vibe, so don't worry guys. 
we are now just doing the finishing touches. Obviously we are putting some lights in because the standard lights, even though they are really nice lightning, um, they are really standard and I usually want something different. So we're gonna give them the, oh, what pack is it from? Like the, I think it is sport, sport pack. I don't remember, sport life. I don't remember. Fitness, fitness skills or something like that. Anyways, guys, um, this was the video. So make sure you hang around for the screenshots. Also like, comment and subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.